Hey guys, welcome back to GTTV's E3 All Access Live, and now it is time to move on to Driver, which is coming out from Ubisoft. I'm here with Martin, who's the creative director of this whole project. You guys have been working on it for a number of years. Four and this, a half. Is, this is the year, though? Yeah, this is definitely coming out. All right, well, uh, Driver has a, a really interesting mechanic. I know we've got some new footage that we'll be showing people of uh, a demo here of the game. Driver is all based around this concept, and this is something new for Driver, of jumping between different cars, right? Yeah, that's the new, uh, the new innovation in the game. Um, and it, uh, it basically, the concept is that you can uh, swap rapidly between any two vehicles uh, immediately, instantaneously, and even from one side of the city to the other side of the city. Right. Now, tell me a bit about you know how you came up with that for Driver because this is a franchise that's been around for you know a number of years and uh, you know really start you know there was a stun angle to it and things like that. I mean, what, why did you want to move in this direction for, for this well, Driver? Well, uh, what we've uh, how we approached it actually uh, for San Francisco was a, a sort of a two prong thing. Yeah. On, on the one hand. Uh, we wanted to very much go back to the roots of the game in terms of the characters and the, the, the story, yep. uh, but also, crucially, the handling of the cars as well, to really make it feel like the original driver, so fans of the original game get their hands on it and they know right. driver is back. And the other thing was the, the, the innovation, which was um, that we were looking for something different because the, there's a lot of similarity in uh, some of the driving games. It's just one of those things that uh, there's only a certain amount you can, you can do and then uh, until you break away from that and do yeah. something new. And the, the idea really was, uh, was almost like a Google Earth uh, live approach, so you can just be, yeah. just be anyone. Now the game is set in San Francisco. Can you tell us a bit about the story of this game? Yeah, the, it takes the story from six months or so from the end of Driver 3, actually, where uh, Jericho shot uh, Tanner in Istanbul. Yeah. And Jericho is being uh, tried, or uh, sentenced rather, for that crime. Mm -hmm. Tanner, who's now recovered, doesn't trust Jericho. He knows something's going to happen. Um, and, of course, he's right. Yeah, now as you go through this game, uh, you know, driving is obviously the, you know, is the key mechanic. How, how do you play through this? I mean, you have different missions, obviously, that come up, and you jump between cars to get to a location faster? Yeah, I mean, what we're seeing here is actually just a, je a demonstration of driving around. Okay. Uh, we're not playing a mission here particularly, but okay. whilst you're driving around like this, there are various views. Uh, we've just gone into shift here. That is the, the, the innovation, that's the, uh, the shift. And you can uh, take different heights as the shift upgrades until eventually yeah. you can see the entire city, all 210 miles. Wow. And you can see some of the icons there. There are various activities to do uh, in the city. The missions are actually driving around in the city. So mm -hmm. you can be driving around and there'll be a car chase driving past you. You, you just go into shift and then shift into the, the, uh, the cops who are chasing or the guy right. who's being chased. Wow. Now, as you, you play through this game uh, and go on these missions, how do you keep variety in this? Because obviously, you know, race, racing games is one of the things that, you know, they suffer from is a lot of repetition. It, it, it is one of the problems, especially if you're not getting out of the car yeah. uh, in, you know, the traditional sense and walking around. And that has been uh, one of the challenges is to, uh, to come up uh, with, with things that are interesting and original. But with a mechanic like this, it allows a lot more freedom to do mm -hmm. various things. We have various different types of cars and you know different kinds of missions. There's the obvious chases and races, um, but also some uh, missions where you're protecting somebody or protecting a convoy or mm -hmm. you know or defusing bombs under trucks. There's all sorts of things that you right. can do with it. And the shift is what allows you to take a different tactical approach to it if you want. Right. Yeah, we're not showing it here, uh, but you do have it at the booth, the multiplayer version of this game, which I, I played a few weeks ago at a Judges Day. And that's a lot of fun where you're chasing after someone and kind of predicting where they're going to go so you can jump in the right car to block them and things like that, right? I think the, the multiplayer is the real surprise for uh, a lot of people because the, uh, the problem with a lot of on online uh, multiplayer driving games or racing games is that old classic thing, the first bend, the crash. Yeah. You know, all of your friends are off down the back straight and that's kind of the end of your experience. Uh, but Shift allows you to have this very reactive uh, situation where you can be stealing cars off each other, yeah. stealing cars in front of each other. I wanted that one, somebody else grabs it for you. And the game is constantly doing this in multiplayer and right. uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it leads to some pretty heated uh, and frantic gameplay. Do you have a bunch of different modes in multiplayer, or how do you sort of set up the multiplayer modes? Uh, multiplayer is set up, uh, first of all, we have two-player split, uh, split screen, right. and we have uh, online. And uh, there's uh, various uh, modes that are cooperative, um, team-based uh, games, then there's uh, competitive games. And they range from uh, the, uh, the one that we have at E3, actually, is called Tag. It's a very uh -huh. simple game. 
Um, if you have the tag, then you're scoring. If you don't have the tag, you're not. So you ram a car that has the tag, you take the, uh, control of the tag. So it leads to a lot of sort of grabbing cars around and just trying to ram this guy to get the tag and then yeah. make off with it. Yeah. But you know, you oh, make yeah. off, somebody grabs a car coming in the opposite direction, yeah. and tries to head on, you take the tag off you. It's quite frantic. But there's also base defense games and, uh, and, and various uh, Lots capture of the flag things. actually yeah. works really well, capture the flag type of game, That's probably two teams. Fun. Yeah. Now, Driver is a franchise I think, you know, has done well in Europe, and, you know, it's an okay in the, in the U.S., but I think it's a brand that, you know, American gamers may not pay a lot of attention to right now. It's been a long time. Um, how, how are you really going to try and get it out in front of people? Because I think it's, you know, it's a, it's a challenging genre to really, you know, make it yeah, into a big blockbuster. It, it is. I mean, in terms of uh, getting the thing out there and marketing it, that's, uh, that's the, 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 the publisher's challenge, because this is quite yeah. a difficult game uh, to, to sell in terms of the... Uh, the concept it has to be has to be explained. You can't just yeah. you can't just play one mission and and, and get it that easily because this whole uh, the shift is actually deeply interwoven with the the story. It's not a right. uh, a feature that was just sort of tacked on. This was a part of the concept. Yeah, no, the thing is you see footage and it's, I mean it looks looks good, but it's uh, you know it's a racing game with a twist. So I'm excited to see uh, sort of how you guys get out there with it because it's been a franchise that's been through. Many different uh, you know, <laughs> so, publishers, even. I mean, Ubisoft picked this up specifically for this game, right? Yeah, they uh, they bought the studio, they bought yeah. the, the franchise, and uh, they uh, made it very clear that they wanted to bring Driver back in a big way, right. which is one of the reasons. And they've given you a lot of time to yeah, four and a half years, and, oh. and a, you know, big uh, big budget as well for it. So, but the innovation has taken time. We've also built everything uh, to do with the core engine from the ground up. So this game runs in 60 frames per second, which wow. is quite a feat for an open yeah. city driving game, especially with the you amount. You can tell. Of, it looks uh, great. That, that 60 frames makes it makes big such difference. a difference. We have a little switch actually. We can flick it down to 30, and as soon as you do that, everyone right. goes, "Oh God!" Realize how how good they had it. All right, so going forward, are you guys see yourselves as the driver studio, or you're not going to define yourselves that sort of specifically? Um, not that specifically, but certainly driving. You know, I think I'm a firm believer in if you if you focus at something and you're, you're good at something, then uh, you know that's something that uh, we should build on, and, uh, and and from a risk point of view as well. Right. And it's something we enjoy. There's a lot of car enthusiasts in the company, yep. obviously, and. You know, it's it's not not a normal driving game. It's a, you know, it's about Hollywood and movie car chases. Absolutely. Well, lots of big explosions, big moments in San Francisco. The game looks uh, fantastic. Well, Justine's been online all morning, uh, getting reactions from our fans uh, using the hashtag GTE3. Uh, so, Justine, maybe we'll go over to you right now and see what the uh, the fans are saying online. Well, we actually have a question here from Justin L on Facebook, and they're wondering how much of San Francisco are they actually going to be able to explore? Um, we have 210 miles of road, and uh, we have uh, what we've done is built the city in a, uh, uh, to, to cater for the gameplay. So the real areas are there, like Marin County up in the north, Sutro in the south, uh, downtown Presidio, across over to the uh, uh, skimming past Oakland. But we compress the areas together. But 210 miles of road, and most of the major areas in there. So if you're from San Francisco and you're driving around in the game, is it sort of yeah, the same feel? It, it, well, we had a, a press event with a lot of guys from San Francisco, and they were uh, all trying to find their house and where they work and all that kind of thing. So they, <laughs> no, they were quite awesome. satisfied. That's awesome. No, I spent a lot of time in San Francisco, so I'm excited to kind of drive around. Since most people don't actually drive in San Francisco, I think it'll be interesting for them to do it virtually. Um, here we have one from Twitter, Yoda Mac. The jumping from car to car looks awesome. Are you worried that casual driver players will be a little overwhelmed? Um, it's it's not a problem when you play the game. Um, on paper, it's a it's a, a tricky thing to sell, as mm -hmm. I said. But when you play the game, you find your own level. I mean, we find that. Uh uh, some of the guys play the game, they spend almost all the time in the car. They mm -hmm. just enjoy driving. Yeah. And other, others like experimenting with the, the system and experimenting with the, the tactics of it. And we, we, we originally had all sorts of levelling systems for how we'd control how much it gets used. And after you know, a lot of playtesting, we, we, we managed to just remove it because people just find their own level with it. Awesome. It's really cool. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much, Justine. Appreciate it, Martin. Driver looks great. And now we are going to head on over to Daniel.